Hi guys, it's Katarina. Welcome back to my channel. Okay. It is tomorrow, obviously. Um, did my makeup. My hair still looked the same from yesterday. I did end up, um, straightening it again than when I got up because it was not having it. Um, I'm wearing the same dress. Um, I'm kind of loving my boobs. Um, I bought this really, really cute bra the other yesterday. And no, not this not natural I, I stuffed it with tissue <laughs> definitely not the first trans girl to stuff her bra but until you know my boobs start growing more you know it will help now on camera this dress looks blue I don't know why but in actuality, it is a beautiful dark green. Now, I will be doing another video after this one, which will basically be me showing you all, all of the, all uh, basically what I use on on my face uh, in terms of makeup and stuff like that. And I'll show you guys. Okay. Now, the topic of this video. This is story time because this happened to me just a couple of days ago. In fact, it happened on Tuesday. Tuesday. I did it. It was Tuesday or Wednesday, whatever. It really doesn't matter which day it was. I was looking to buy bras, hence, hence why I bought hence. I went to Route 21. But they didn't have any double A bras. So I went to so I was walking to another place we have here called Factory Connection. Um, they have full scale of everything. Um, I was about to go in. I was just maybe ten feet from the door when this white van just I was on my way again and the and the guy that was in there said, Hey, I said Hi. And I was continue walking. So this guy rushed and parked and then he was like, Hey, you wanna you wanna hang out? And um my first instinct is um weirdo in a van wants to hang out. Now I was not wearing a dress or I didn't have a bra on, I just had my wet my black wedges, my black leggings and this green shirt, which, let me show you. I love this shirt because it's thin and it's really comfortable. Okay. This is also what I wore when, and it was Tuesday when this happened. So this is, I wore this to court and it was comfortable. Um, I do kind of wish I would have been able to wear the dress, but, um, yeah, but that's okay. Anyway. And the reason why I have my hair back is because I really want to um, make the dress more apparent. Because if I have my hair down, it's going to kind of cover it. And I really don't want to cover the dress because it's fabulous. Um, anyway, he's like, hey, you want to hang out? And uh, again, my reaction of I don't know you, I'm like, I don't think so. And then he goes on to say, well, I can give you a blowjob. I'm like, yeah, no, for obvious reasons. And then he's like, well, what about returning the favor? And then he, and he, and then he goes, and then he goes to ask, well, you do like guys, right? And I'm like, yeah. 
Whether he realized I was a woman or a man, I don't really know. And then he goes on to say that he's really horny. Like, that's supposed to put some... Like, that's supposed to change my mind about something. And then he pulled one of these. <clears throat> well, I can offer you money. Money, bitch. Do I look like a fucking prostitute to you? One, no, I'm not. No, I'm 26 years old and I am a virgin. For, you know, obvious reasons. I don't really like my body. And... Granted, when I still was living as a male, I didn't, I couldn't get, a, I couldn't get a man either because the town I was living in had like no men, no gay men anyway, or no gay men that were actually interested in me. And the one that was, I was not interested in him because we'd been friends forever, and it was just weird. Um, now the one thing about this is, don't get me wrong, I was flattered because in in reality, the guy was really cute. He had these really blue eyes, and under different circumstances, I would definitely go out with him. But it's because he decided to do that. If he wanted to hang out to generally just get to know me, because he thought I was beautiful or pretty, and he just wanted to get to know me and possibly go on a date, that's one thing. Okay? But it wasn't like that. And, again, I don't really, I don't really know, I didn't bother to ask whether he realized that I was a man or a woman. Because I feel, I'm, I mean, I'm not quite androgynous, but I feel like I am a little bit when I'm, like, fully, when I, when I go out, because I was wearing makeup, I was wearing somewhat feminine clothes. So I think I was more androgynous. But I, again, I didn't have any breasts, so maybe he thought I was a man. But, um, you know, whatever. Um, not to mention, he mentioned that he was working, and we don't have to do it right here. We can go somewhere do it. I'm like, yeah, and that, that's another giant red flag. Yeah, I ain't going anywhere with you. And, um... Yeah. But that's another th lovely thing about being trans because most men, they only want to sleep with trans women. They don't really want to have a relationship. Now, I'm not saying that all men are like that because they're not. There are some out there that just don't care if a woman is trans. You know, they're a woman and they'll treat them like they're a woman with respect and kindness and everything else. Whether he was like that, I don't know. I didn't, I didn't, because I didn't stick around long enough to know any, to find out. And then he further asked me, he's like, well, I could pay you. Again, he, he asked me that same question again, that he could pay, he could pay me. And I'm like, yeah, I don't think so. I'm like, yeah, bye. And walked into Factory Connection. And the moment I walked in, I'm, I'm thinking both in my head and out loud, did that really just happen to me? Me, bitch. Because that's never happened to me before. Most most men don't even pay any attention to me. Most men don't talk to me. The only time they talk to me is when I talk to them. Blah blah. blah. No. Which is like never because like to be real. I mean honestly, I was even. I mean honestly, because of my transition, I am not even interested in dating someone until I've had most of my surgeries. I'm not interested in having sex with a man until I've had my until I've had bottom surgery. Because if I have sex with a man, I would want to have sex with them, you know, like normal. Same way a man and a woman have sex. Vaginal sex. Um, I mean it's not the fact that I'd be opposed to anal. It's just, yeah, no. not to mention that, I mean, now, I'm not saying that if I meet someone within the next year that is a actually kind man that genuinely wants to get to know me for me and isn't rushed into wanting to have sex, 
I'm not going to say, no, I'm not interested in dating until I've had, had someone in third grade. Of course not. Because I don't have the luxury for that. Because there isn't a whole lot of men out there that are actually interested in trans women. Um, that doesn't mean I'm interested in dating someone who's a chaser. Not that there's anything wrong with that. It's just that I find it a little suspicious for a man to almost exclusively want to date trans women. Trans women are women. So, just because... Now, it could be because they're interested in trans women because most trans women get, get their breasts done. Maybe maybe he likes women that, that get their breasts done. Maybe he likes women whose boobs are generally bigger. Because most trans women have big boobs. Because we we start out with nothing. So most of the time when trans women do get their boobs done, we get them pretty we, we get them big. I for me I for one, I don't fully fully know exactly what size I want to go with. But as of right now, I want to have either between a D and a double D. That is where that's the size that I'm going with right now. Because by the time two years, by the time I've been on hormones for two years and I can actually get my breasts done. Oh, and uh, on a side note, just to let you know, breast augmentation is the cheapest surgery you can get done because the price ranges between six and about twelve or thirteen grand. That's going to be the cheapest surgery because this is about thirty grand. Gender reassignment surgery is a, is close to thirty grand. Voice surgery might actually be the same price as breast augmentation. I'm not 100% on that, but I think it's close to it. So, I mean, it's one of the cheaper surgeries. But from what I've heard, breast augmentation, of course, is also the most painful. I've also heard that breast augmentation is actually more painful than, than, than your gender reassignment surgery. Whether that's true or not, Again, I'm right now. I'm looking to d different doctors for breast augmentation, even though even though that surgery for me is at least two years away. <sighs> Not to mention my insurance when I do get it in like two weeks could actually cover breast augmentation. But now most doctors will not will not even approve for you to to even get breast augmentation until you've been on hormones for at least two years because in the first two years on HRT is when your when your breast tissue develops fully mostly it could take up to five years on HRT for your breast to fully develop in its size but for me I'm okay with that I'm okay with getting my boobs done in two years, even though they could potentially still grow for the for three years following that. Because you know what, that that'll be fine because that'll make my boobs just a little bit bigger. I doubt it'll make it all that bigger, but I won't really know how, what what how big my breasts will grow, in the next two years until it's been two years. So at that point, then I'll find that out for myself. On a side note, the only thing about this dress I don't like is my arms. I've got really big arms because I'm overweight, and it makes me really, really dysphoric. Um, so I, I'm like trying to lose weight. That's why I would not wear this dress out in public without a cardigan, because at least if I had something on, it would, it would hide my arms, so they would be less noticeable. Um, I did I did wear them out in public earlier this morning because I went to go pay rent with at, at my landlord and I was wearing this dress. Um, the only difference is I was wearing my corset, so my boobs looked a little bit bigger and they were a little bit higher up, but they were about right here as opposed to where they are now. Um, this bra, the one I'm wearing. Oh, you can see tissue. This bra right here is so comfortable. It is so so damn comfortable that honestly, I don't. I honestly, it's like I I don't even feel. I can't even really tell I'm wearing it. And like that's like that's like the tri the dream bra. 
this now this now this bra is a sports bra because Walmart didn't have any Walmart Walmart did not have any bra they had no double-a bras so I mean so if you're going to Walmart and you are a double-a like I am the only bra you're gonna be able to get is a sports bra now this sports bra is a is a 2x it's a 2x I, I did try on the extra large. It would not fit me. No. Trying to put it on, it was really, really hard to, to put on, and it was even harder to take off. However, this one, because the black bra that I have over there that I was wearing yesterday, it was, um, it was comfortable, sort of. Not really, because uh, the band down here where the bra ends, it kept it was quite longer than longer than this one was so it kept rolling up and um, but this one is so much more comfortable plus what I like about this one is the padding in this bra is a, is, is, is like it's a, it, there's more padding to it plus these ones are removable so if I wanted to I could actually buy a thicker even thicker padding to actually stick in these bras, which of course will make them look bigger as well. Um, I know, I know this uh, this video kind of went past it, but I did already already explained about the creep. Um, this is now, however, this is the only dress that I currently own. I ordered five dresses from Amazon, and they have still not yet shipped. Even though I ordered them on the thirteenth. They have still not shipped, and it is now the 19th. So yeah, I ordered six days ago, which was almost a week ago, and they have still not shipped. I know one of the dresses, it's not, the delivery, estimated delivery is not until, it, it's from like no, November 9th to the 29th, which I'm not crazy about. That it's gonna take so long. Oh, okay. I take that back. Okay, I take that back. I take it back. They've shipped. Well, three of them have. My green dress, a lighter green dress, will be arriving tomorrow by 8 p.m. My blue dress will be arriving tomorrow by 8 p.m. And my, of course, my little black dress, long sleeve, will be arriving tomorrow by 8 p.m. Oh, and the dress that's estimated delivery is in November. That one has shipped. And my kind of my gray dress that I bought is shipping now, so it's about to ship. But I will show you guys these. They're not the best in pictures, but I will show them so you guys can get a good and no, I will show I'll tell you the exact color and size I bought it in. This one is an extra large and I bought it in army green. Extra large was the biggest size they had, so I bought it. Plus, even if it doesn't fit me, it'll be a little bit smaller, and it will give me that motivation I really need to lose a little bit more weight, and then I'll be able to fit into it. Uh, in fact, a lot of and I got several dresses that are in extra large, so even if they don't fully fit me, again, that's for me. I lose I lose weight when I have something that I really I'm so excited to wear but it doesn't fit me quite yet. I have a couple of shirts in my room that I can't fit into because they are too small. So um, they're like a size smaller. But again, that gives me inspiration to actually lose weight so I can actually fit into them. Because even even with wearing my court, my waist trainer corset, I still, well, I, still, I still can't fit into them. So I know I've got some weight to lose. All right, this one is the is this one is the blue dress. It is and it is extra large. This one is the one I'm kind of most excited for. I love the little flowers that are at the bottom. It's really pretty. <laughs> and this dress was sixteen dollars. Hold on, the the green dress that I showed you earlier, that one is it was thirteen dollars. Alright, the black dress is a 2X, it's a 
it's a 2x, it's, it's obviously black, and this one was $15. I can't wait for this one, it looks so beautiful. And the... Now this is the one that is shipping now, this is the gray dress. And this one is, this one's just so beautiful too. Oh, and this one is a dark gray dress, and it is, and it is also in a two, it's a um, two X. And this dress was fifteen, if I forgot to mention that. And my very last one, which is being, which is, has been shipped, this is the one that's being delivered sometime in November. This one is also black. It's a 2x black, and it was $15. So, and not to mention, my brother is buying me a dress for my birthday. Hold on, let me pull that dress up. Because this, okay, I sent my dad a link to this dress. So he can buy it for me for my birthday. And he was my was saying, Are you serious? So he just sent me a $75 gift card to Amazon. So I bought dresses with it anyway. So I just sent that link that I sent to my dad. I sent it to my brother. So he can um he can buy it for me. And he got paid today, so he as far as I know he already bought the dress. If I can find this. Yeah, my brother sent me these links to these transgender books that I am actually thinking about um, looking into. So I am. I found it. Pulling it up now. I really like this dress. It's it, it is it is actually similar to the dress I'm wearing in terms of this. Because you can, it's kind of like sheer. It's a little see-through in this part. And oh, it's on my bra. <laughs> now this one, um, it's in. It's a two X. It's blue, and this one is a bit more pricey because this dress is thirty dollars. So in a grand total, I will have seven dresses. I've got the one I'm wearing, the five I bought from Amazon, and the one that my brother is sending me for my birthday, a grand total of seven dresses. Now I've decided I will be, um, I, work, I work at the casino, and I will be, um, I've decided that I'm going to be after I get my li my driver's license and a car, I will be transferring. I'm not going to be where I currently work because I wash dishes all day. What I'll be doing is I want to transfer to HR so I can actually wear dresses. Where I can actually have the freedom to wear what I want to wear. I can do ma I can do full makeup. Well, I can do full makeup now. But I sweat so much when I'm at work that um, every time I wipe sweat off, I'm wiping a whole crap ton of makeup off, like foundation. And so.
sorry, I was looking at something on my phone. Someone commented on a on a picture I posted to Facebook like a year ago, almost two years ago. But um, so you all have seven dresses. I'm really excited about having seven dresses. It basically means I can wear a different dress for seven days. It's a nice start to my feminine clothes. I'm not gonna buy I'm not going to really buy any more feminine clothes other than bras. And uh, bras and panties, I'm going to be buying a lot of. More bras than anything else because, um, especially sports bras, because even though when I lose weight, my sports bras are still going to fit me for quite a while. Um, especially, I want to buy more of these ones. I want to buy more of these ones because they are just so comfortable. I literally... I'm wearing it now, and I literally, I honestly, honestly, I tell you, I can't even tell I'm wearing it. It's that comfortable, which, you know, bodes well when I'm, when I have to go to work, so we'll see how it actually feels when I'm actually at work wearing it. I don't know why, but that my, this, my ear, my, this earring in my ear hurts, well, uh, whether it keeps sliding back, and that's why it's why it feels kind of sore, I don't know. But anyway. I'm still so in love with this color. When when I finally got out of the shower and I blow dried my hair and I went to look at it, I was in love with it so much. So much. Now what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna wait in two months, so in December, I'm buying the same exact toner. The same developer, which was 20 volume. Um, also, I also bought this, which is going to get the uh, adhesive that's still in the back. You don't want to see that because it's like, it's bad, okay. I should have just taken it out before I, before I toned my hair, but I'm lazy and didn't feel like it. Let's be real. Alright. Um... I'm going to get off here because I have to take my hormones. And um, once I take my hormones, I will be, I'll be back with another video showing, but showing you guys everything I put on my face when I put makeup on. And um, I'll be able to chat with you guys a little bit more. Alright, I'll see you guys in a few. Bye.